Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope you guys are doing well out there. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Mine was pretty good. Got a few things accomplished on the restoration of Wally in a Box Kramer guitar and about to get some more stuff done as well. Now, if you've seen my community post and uh, a few other videos that kind of showed it, but the community post is with the new paint that I put on there, not with the old paint that I was using before. Um, I kind of like this Martha Stewart spray paint. It's uh, actually the coverage and everything else is pretty nice without having to really like put it on real heavy coats. And it worked out pretty good. Now, the body is going to get the same paint, but me and Wally ended up doing a little bit of uh, talking back and forth. This is going to get a little bit of a customization going on to it and uh, to make it a little bit more than just only a restoration. So I'm going to get into that today and let's see how it goes. At least I kind of know how it's going to go. It should go pretty good. But I'll explain step by step of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So when you guys want to try doing this, it'll work out for you the same way it's going to work out for me. So stay tuned for it. All right, so right now here's the body, all primed, sanded, and uh, ready for its finishing. But got a couple of things I got to do on here first before we actually put color on here. And me and Wally were going back and forth. We're talking about possibly doing a little bit of customization with the body a little bit. And I kind of took a photo of a guitar similar to this one and, you know, did some photo editing and added some striping to the body. Uh, just a couple of, you know, just a couple of stripes right over here where the armrest is. And uh, he liked it. So we're going to do that to this body. Now, how do you do that, you know, when it's like this? I'll show you that in a bit as well. But right now I want to work on the headstock because the headstock's going to get a stripe too. So I got to put this out of the way. So here's the headstock. And like I said, I like that Martha Stewart paint. It actually worked out pretty nice on here. But I'm going to add a stripe to this. So the guitar body will be going this direction. And there will be angle going this direction on one side of the body. I want to put a stripe going across this side of the headstock. So how I'm going to do that is going to be just with regular masking tape. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to end up making some straight lines. So I'm going to go ahead and make a straight line just going across the headstock like this. Now that is not going to be the final piece. That is just going to be an outline. So I'm going to go ahead and make my final up against that. Nice and straight. That's my final. Peel this one off. around the edge. Now I don't want it to be that thick. I want it to be at least about half of what this tape is. So I'm going to line it up with that, move it down, tape it. Again, that is not a final piece of tape. It would help if I had the actual outline tape to do this. Instead, I have to do it this way. So, where's my ruler? So, I gotta do a little bit of measuring here. Where is a pen? So, I'm gonna split this. Never you guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah, barely. Split this right here. And 
the straight edge. Let's do it over here too. Right on top of the line. This is the strip that I want. Peel this one off. measure this to make sure that I have the same amount on each side. And I don't. So I'm going to have to take this side off over here, fill this up. that I am using a fucking piece of paint tape to do it. Alright. Let's see how well I did this. Yeah, I'm good. So the first coat that I was put on here is a very, very light, just a dusting, kind of like a tack coat. Now the next coats are going to be basically the same thing. You want to go really light, you don't want to go really heavy, otherwise the paint gets underneath the tape and that's how you get the bleed through. So you want to spray light coats. I'm going to spray the next coat right now. Um, I can't record it because uh, I need both hands for this. Alright, so you kind of see that it's not as pink as it was before. It's kind of getting there a little bit. It's going to be probably like three or four more dustings and I should have the white that I'm looking for. Alright, so that's the third coat. Probably one or two more dustings and I should have the white stripe I'm looking for. Alright, so this is like Christmas time unwrapping a gift and seeing what you got so let's go ahead and get this thing unmasked hopefully I get no overspray on any other Part of the body or, or neck, I mean.
All right, so this is where you want to be careful and peeling the tape off. You want to get the tape to cut. And I got some tape residue on here I got to get off. That's not a big deal. And I got to wait for this to dry really, really good. And then I can go ahead and sand it. Peel the tape off slow. And I got some tape residue on there I'm going to have to remove, so that's not a big deal. That is not a big deal at all. So the edge here, I need to scrape the edge a little bit. Clean that edge up a little. the headstock. Now I'm going to have to sand this because there is a little bit of a line there. So I'm going to have to sand this up and get this paint, this tape glue off of here. But other than that, yeah, she's good. So there's the headstock. It's a bad thing about being so hot outside right now. The glue will kind of mess with the finish. Not a good thing. That's why I'm doing the body a different way. This is one way of doing it. And again, no paint bleed. Light coats, that's the trick. Anytime you're spraying up against some type of a tape line, light coats. All right, so let's get to the body. All right, so this step is gonna be done in reverse of what I already did with the headstock. So I have the body hanging over here, and what I'm gonna do is spray the area where the stripe is gonna go white, and then all I have to do is mask off that area where the stripe is gonna go on top of the white, and paint the rest of the body the fluorescent pink. Makes it a lot easier. Kids are over at the basketball court. All right, so let's get spraying. Maybe I can do this holding the spray can in, since I'm left-handed. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just put a few coats in this area over here. This doesn't have to be like a light coat or anything like that. This is gonna be final so I'm gonna let that dry but meanwhile I have to go back here and the cavities are gonna get painted back here because they're gonna be white as well so I gotta get in there pretty good it is hot out there it's like 91 degrees it's a little bit after 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I was working in the shade. So by 4, 4.30 in the afternoon, uh, when the sun gets to its peak, it's going to be hot out there. It's going to be really hot out there. But anyways, I'm glad that I got this done now because the more uh, the humidity starts peaking out outside, the more the paint starts to become a little bit difficult to spray and it kind of does its own thing, which happens and it, it becomes a pain in the ass but you know there's not much you could do about when you want to get something done 
anyways so right now there's not much more I can do but watch paint dry that's about it so the headstock I have to wait for that to cure up pretty good and then give it a nice uh, 600 grit or 800 grit wet sanding and after that goes I put the logo on there and then I'll end up uh, epoxy resining just the top of the headstock the back of the headstock and the rest of the neck is going to get clear coated now you've seen how I did this you've seen there was no bleed on the edges of the headstock where the fluorescent color is no bleed where the striping is and I didn't use any special tapes I've got 3M green which is a little bit more of a tackier uh, it's a little bit more tackier than the blue the blue is okay but the green is really good especially for automotive the green is really good and you've seen how I ended up doing the striping. I took my time, made sure that the tape was adhered to the surface that I was applying it to, and I didn't spray heavy on the edges or the area that I was spraying up against the tape. That's the one thing that you want to not do is spray heavy. You want to do light dustings every time you come up to a tape line. It helps in a couple of different ways you can still get the coverage that you're looking for but the amount of paint that you're applying isn't up against that tape really really thick leaving you a real thick line after you, you remove the tape okay you could do this with binding you could do this when you're wanting to separate you know two different things or whatever uh, masking and painting and it works out pretty good now doing it with light coats of paint up against the tape lines is kind of important for another reason as well if you're using anything that is lacquer all right lacquer will end up taking the adhesive and loosening it up on the back of tape and it'll start to peel up it'll start to rise giving you bleed through you don't want that peeling the tape off also makes a big difference as well because if you do spray it kind of heavy up against that tape line then peeling the tape off may cause you a big issue that is a really a pain he has to correct that's tearing the paint off the surface that you sprayed it on you spray too heavy and you go to peel the paint the tape off and you go and you do it in a way where it's quick fast and not cutting the paint as you're peeling the tape you could end up peeling the paint off with it so you want to be careful with that as well so if you saw in the video how I was peeling the tape off kind of on an angle or at a sharp curve where the tape met the uh, uh, body and how I was pulling it off that's cutting the tape as I'm pe or cutting the paint as I'm peeling the tape off very important sometimes you can have major problems if you don't do it that way the body on the other hand is reversed from what the headstock spray out is you're going to have I'm going to have the striping done and masked off and then I'm going to spray the body with the color so it's a reverse of what I did with the headstock either way works out pretty good there's no right and wrong way of doing it and this is stuff that I've learned in using this knowledge that I've learned from doing auto body refinishing um, works just the same way as with guitars you know it's not any different it's still paint it's still you know if you're going to do a custom then you kind of follow the same rules uh, that you would do if you were doing this to a vehicle or motorcycle or anything else that you were painting so like I said uh, just a waiting game now 